Roses are red, violets are blue. Kitana uses air, and Kung Lao does too. Liu Kang is fire, tremor rocks, rain... Uh, rains. Noob uses shadow, Johnny uses force, Scarlet uses blood, and Sector uses... What the fuck even is that? Java? Boom! Yeah. I made a joke. Thank you, thank you. No, really, it was nothing. If I had to grade myself, I'd give me a C. Plus, plus. What exactly is Sector's teleport? How does it work? Why is it green? Where did my life go wrong? This is the most out of left field question I get. I get it because I've explained all this other shit from all these other characters, so I might as well explain this programmer vomit as well. And I'll be honest, this one kind of stumped me for a while because more so than any of the other special moves, the explanation behind how this one works and why it looks the way it does is clearly because, because it's cool. And that's it. That's it. Still. When did I ever let something as trivial as reality get in the way of me and my delusions? If you held me at gunpoint and forced me to either explain this power or paint the carpet with my brain, I'd say shoot the fuck away. I'd say you'll need a bigger gun. I'd say aim below the hat, it's bulletproof. Alright already, enough of the bloody takes. There are several possibilities here, and after reviewing the evidence, this is actually more of a deduction than speculation. Ready for... Another lesson. Broadly speaking, this could be either magic or tech. If it's tech, it's almost certainly some kind of teleportation device. Opening portals to other realms might have been beyond human technology at the time of MK3, but short-range teleportation seems more feasible. This is some time after Earth was made aware of the other realms and the means to travel between them, so they had time to study the problem. Which is irrelevant anyway since Sector is a Ling Kuei, and the Ling Kuei have been aware of and even dealing with the other realms for a very long time, so if anyone was going to combine extraterrestrial sorcery with Earth realm tech, it was going to be them. This unique position was probably what prompted the cyber initiative in the first place. This effect being tech is obviously reinforced by the matrix -y trail that he leaves behind when he ports from MK Armageddon onward, and even the sound effect used for his teleporting in his first appearance way back in MK3, it's clearly meant to sound like tech with this heavily modulated, filtered sound, whereas the ninja teleports have a more organic or magic -y sound to them. And with regard to the visual effect, matrix trail isn't actually the best way to describe it. It's more like cubes. Which immediately makes me think of hypercubes and the four-dimensional hopping through space-time that this theoretical concept implies to be possible. So that's another point, albeit symbolic, towards the teleport theory. If we attribute it to magic, it could, again, be teleportation by way of magic. If you want to make a case for it somehow conforming to the elemental system, as some would like to, it could definitely be an illusion technique. Melina uses illusion to hopscotch across the battlefield, as does Motaro, so this could easily be something like that. The the only alternative I can think of is some combination of force plus earth, the force to account for the particle effects and the, well, force with which he emerges from the ground, and earth to explain him actually traveling through the ground. But apart from this being a cumbersome rationalization, it's also somewhat unlikely that Sector would have such mastery over not one but two elements. If he did, you'd arguably see him using them more instead of relying on a literal missile launcher. So Sector's teleport could be magic. However, if we look at his human form from MK9, that version accomplished it by... Hmm. It looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. Wow, I didn't even remember that. I suppose this makes all of these possibilities viable. Also, another point in favor of the elemental slash magic explanations is the fact that the Ling Kuei pride themselves on finding and training the most OP, broken, superpowered characters like Sub-Zero and Smoke, so it would make sense that Sector, one of their key agents, would have some kind of magical or elemental capability as well. That said, Cyrex doesn't, unless the smoke bomb teleport his human version uses is the actual smoke element that Smoke uses. That was a lot of smoke in one one sentence. If you look at other characters' teleports that also seemingly go through the ground, like Kung Lao's, well, my headcanon explanation for Kung Lao's teleport is that it's tied to his hat. Yes, I know there are versions where the animation doesn't imply he's using the hat to do it, but I honestly think making his hat enchanted and acting like a two-way portal is the most elegant way to explain this otherwise out-of-left-field power in such a way that it would even fly in a film. And so, for the sake of visual consistency, I think Sector's teleport should also 
also be a teleport. That sounds like it doesn't make sense, so let me rephrase. Sex doors teleport shouldn't be some kind of visual trick or elemental power, so we can cross off illusion and force. It's the real deal. Only thing left to decide is whether it's magical or tech. Personally, I think it makes more sense for it to be tech, since both sex door and Cyrax are decked out in more tech than a robotics convention, so a minor wormhole device feels right at home. Thank you for watching, I did this video because... Don't forget to like.